Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. It is TGIF fish segment of the week, y'all. And I'm not doing fish today. I am doing shrimp. I love me some fried shrimp. And you see by the preview picture and the video, we're doing some coconut fried shrimp, y'all. I'm doing right here in the deep fryer. I got my shrimp already cleaned in the vein. And when I do fried shrimp, y'all, I usually use a 1620 P and D tell on. 1620 P and D tell on. You can do a 2125 P and D tell on. Or you can go up to 1315 if you want to do that. P and D tell on. Now I'm explaining to y'all these numbers before if people that's new wonder what these numbers mean. 1620, 2125, 1315. That means how many shrimp is in the bag per, per pound. That means in here is 16 to 20 of these in every pound of shrimp that I buy. So yeah, the larger the number, the smaller the shrimp, y'all. Remember that, the larger the number, the smaller the shrimp. So if you got a 4150, it's gonna be a very small. If you got a U10 or a U8, it's gonna be very huge, meaning it's less per pound. You're only getting eight huge shrimp per pound. If you got 4150, it's 4150, it's a little bitty small ones per pound. So just letting y'all know, if you ever looked at shrimp, you never knew uh, what the what the numbers and all that meant, that's what that meant. And the reason I use 1620 or 2125, it's a smaller shrimp. You don't want a shrimp this huge. You don't want a U10 or U12. To me, it, after it fries up, it gets too tough to eat. So I always try to stay in the 13, 15, 21, 25, or the 16, 20. And P and D tell on, meaning peel in the vein with the tell on. You can buy them already. Of course, I get mine already. I buy my shrimp whole from uh, Texas City. Um, Texas City Light. They have the fresh shrimp come in every day out the, out the shrimp boat. I used to go get me 10, 15, 20 pounds at a time. I come home and, and uh, top the heads off. Well, they'll knock the heads off of you there. And I come home and freeze them in a little individual bag. And I have shrimp pretty much all year. So, uh, yeah, like I say, they're easy to eat. P and D mean peel in the vein. I use a tail on it. You can use a tail off too. It doesn't matter. But I just like the presentation of the tail on it. So that's a little educational thing for y'all. All right, y'all, let's get started here. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to season my shrimp here. I'm going to put a little salt and pepper. I try not to over season shrimp. Because if it's a fresh shrimp like I got here, it just has that freshness. You can even smell it of the ocean, y'all. Fresh seawater, it's just nothing better than a good fresh shrimp. Do not try to over season it too much because you're just gonna ruin. I tell people, you have not, I just don't understand. I'm, it's a pet peeve of mine. People just over season food with all these different seasonings and, and, and stuff, it doesn't take all that. You just wanna enhance the natural season flavor of the food you're cooking. Do not put 10, 12, 15 spices on food. It doesn't take that. <laughs> me working in the chef for many, many years in the kitchen, believe me. The best thing in the kitchen most of the time we use is salt and pepper. That's it. Now all these different kinds of, it just doesn't, it's just mind boggling. Right, yeah, hold on here. Let me put this on this cavendish. I know I love my cavendish here. Put that in there. All right, let me get this out the way. I don't have Dylan today, y'all. He don't work on Ferris's. Yeah. So I'm running the camera by myself, so y'all kind of bear with me. Dylan got me spoiled here, y'all. Got me spoiled. Okay. Let me move this over here out the way. Now, we're going to set up our breading station here. It's just very simple. In this thing here, I got my eggs. So just some eggs I beat up. I got some regular AP flour in here. And in here I got some panko, AKA Japanese breadcrumbs in this bowl. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some coconut to this. Now if you got unsweetened coconut, hey, in your house, go for it, use that. But I don't have unsweetened coconut. Who has unsweetened coconut in the house? Most people that have coconut, is you either sweet and tight, because you know you're making coconut pies and German chocolate cakes and up like that so mostly people have the sweetened coconut if you have that by all means use it it doesn't make a difference at all It'll give you a trip a little sweeter taste hey good balance with the sweetness and the, and the softness of the shrimp so got all that mixed up 
Let me clean my hands here a little. I hope everybody's having an awesome Friday. It is uh, coming up to Memorial Day weekend. If y'all saw some of my posts, you saw that I love Memorial Weekend because that's the gateway to summertime, meaning there's going to be a lot of barbecue, a lot of air fry. You get your air fry if you ain't got one. A lot of Instant Pot videos. Get your Instant Pot if you don't have one. Don't say I didn't tell you. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to kind of step off here. I'm going to move this board out of the way. Give myself a little bit more room. We're going to get these breaded up. And then we're going to step off. I'm going to heat up my deep fryer. We're going to fry these shrimp off. Got me some sweet chili sauce. It's going to be on in here, y'all. Too bad Dylan going to miss this one. But anyway, TGIF, fifth segment of the week. Just getting started. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. All right. We got a brand station set up really, really, really nice here. I got my flour, egg, and Japanese breadcrumb with the coconut in it. And all I'm going to do, y'all. I try to be really, really, I can say pretty with this. I try not to put, which is probably, I mean, it can't be, I mean, perfect with it, but I try to leave the tail without any flour on it, without any anything on it. That's just the way I am. I'm just particular like that. We're going to do flour, egg, Japanese breadcrumb. I'm going to lay it on a sheet pan over here. And kind of just let it hang out here. I'm gonna do about three or four of these, y'all, so y'all can see. Then I'm gonna step off here and knock the rest of these out. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm trying to achieve here. So put all that in there. All right, get that egg wash on there. And what I do, I go to my coconut and breadcrumbs while I'm holding my tail up. I don't even sound like do holding my tail up. Put this in here. One more time here. I like to kind of mash it on there, y'all. Is that a word, mash? Mash it on there. Let me get the other one out of here. Make sure they open flat. I like them to be flat, y'all. Let me do another one here. There we go. And I'm really smashing them pretty hard, y'all, because I want that breading to really, really stay on there. Really, really good, that coconut breading. Got one more here, and I'll give y'all some kind of idea. Then I'm going to step off and finish the rest of these up. And then we are going to come back. When we come back, I'll have my fryer ready. And then uh, we'll fry these things off. See that? That's all I want, y'all. See that? Very simple, very easy flour egg, uh, break crumbs on the pan, kind of let them set out. I like to let them set by five, six minutes so they kind of dry out before they go in the fryer and then I fry them off. Or you skid it or you walk however you want to do it. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back. When we come back, the fry will be hot and ready. We'll fry these off with shrimp takes two, three minutes. Not even that in the fry. We'll have it ready. Be time to eat some fried coconut fried shrimp with some sweet chili sauce. We'll be right back, y'all. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, time to put our shrimp in here. And what I do, I just use the fry. I just put them in the fry like this. I don't use a basket. This way I can get more in it. I get more shrimp in here. I think I got about a dozen and a half here. Of course, if you're doing in the skillet, Make sure you don't overcrowd your, your skillet because you'll be boiling them instead of frying them. And your goal is to have nice, golden brown, beautiful shrimp, y'all. That's the goal here. Like I said, I just kind of move them around here. And they don't take a couple of minutes, y'all. So you already know. Fried shrimp don't take but a couple of minutes. Not even that. I'm gonna move them around. I got my sheet pan here with a rack. Y'all know how I am. I'm very adamant about uh, putting fried foods on a rack. Do not put it on paper towels, nothing like that, because it will make your crispy achievement just ruin and make it moist. So don't do that. So yeah, y'all see how pretty these are? 
one more, about a half a minute here, and these suckers will be ready, y'all. Like I say, don't take any time at all. Get restaurant quality coconut shrimp. These are already floating. So we're gonna take these out. They are already floating. See how long that took? See how they just float to the top? They don't take long at all. Get these out of here. And that's it, y'all. Kind of move these around here. Ooh, they hot. Let them drain. I don't want them to sit on top of each other because that's defeating the purpose of the, of the sheet pan. See how pretty those are, y'all? Look at that. How quick I made those. So what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to step off here, get cleaned up here a little, and then we're going to come back here. And we're going to try these out with some sweet chili sauce. TGL fifth segment of the week. Almost finished. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Look at this here. Nice plate of restaurant quality fried shrimp with coconut fried shrimp. Very easy. Very simple. And that one fell off. So that means I get to eat this one. Let me cut this in two here where y'all can see how perfectly cooked they are. See that? Perfectly cooked shrimp. I'm gonna dip it in that sweet chili sauce. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Nice and tender. Mm. Mm. I can double dip. Ain't nobody here today but me. I'm gonna save some for Dylan tomorrow. He can warm them up in the air fry. Mm. Okay, y'all. Mm. Oh, y'all. The hot shrimp in my mouth. Perfectly seasoned. Mm. One more here. Look at that. Mm. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Mm. Wasting chili sauce on my floor. Look at that. Going for another bite. I guess, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I can double dip today. Ain't nobody here but me. Mm. Oh, wow. I'm so quiet, y'all, because I'm in my element. I absolutely love fried shrimp. I really do. Especially when they're homemade from scratch. It doesn't, it's no, it's no competition. That stuff that you buy in the store, already frozen, mm -mm. Nothing competes for this right here. Nice and tender. Very flavorful. I didn't get much better than this one, y'all. At all. But anyway, let me close the video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media account Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022? Helping others with a purpose. Old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.